Welcome back, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Well, uh, as the activities of uh, the COP27 Climate Change Conference continues in Sharm el Sheikh, uh, on uh, Friday, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi received uh, uh, US President Joe Biden, during which uh, both leaders held uh, uh, summit talks. And uh, during uh, the talks, President Abdel Fattah al Sisi have expressed uh, uh, his keenness on boosting bilateral relations with the United uh, States and also for his part, uh, uh, President, uh, the US. President Joe Biden uh, said uh, that he really appreciates uh, the uh, role that is played by Egypt uh, uh, in the um, Middle East uh, and Africa. Well, to shed more light on this, we have the pleasure to have uh, this phone call with uh, Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister. Good morning, Your Excellency. Good morning. How are you? Well, Your Excellency, could you shed the light uh, on the importance uh, uh, of the statements by President uh, Abdel Fattah al-Sisi during receiving uh, uh, U.S. President Joe Biden and also uh, the statements by uh, the U.S. President yesterday? I hope that our young generation follow thoroughly uh, this event because it is a big story of success where you are uh, inviting all the presidents and the leaders of the whole world, from Japan up to France, from uh, uh, United States down to uh, South Africa, and every single president is either uh, present by himself or by a representative. Now we have we have uh, hosted the, the the president of the largest economy in the world and the, the biggest uh, power in the world. And uh, if, it is, if it is a matter of the relation between Egypt and uh, United States, we have sometimes our differences, because both of us are independent country. But uh, both country, countries realize the importance of the other. We see that since decades, even during the time of Gamal Abdel Nasser and President Eisenhower, uh, 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 United States uh, started to help Egypt by uh, easy uh, uh, supplies of wheat. By that time, we were paying in Egyptian pounds to the United States to spend it again in, in, in Egypt on projects and the American embassy and the AU. Yes. Sir. So uh, uh, we have a, a, a good experience during the time of President Sadat and the peace process. The United States helped us a lot. So, and since then, uh, the relation is continuing in a very positive way. They help us uh, in, in, to, to help our economic uh, process and economic reform. They help us uh, to, to supply us with military equipment. And I, I cannot see a much better relation rather than this. And uh, I invite our young generation to listen carefully to what the American president said. He was praising Egypt and praising the leader of Egypt, uh, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi, for this story of success where we succeed, as usual, to bring the whole world to Sharm el-Sheikh, which is becoming now a very famous capital for conferences. We earn a lot talking about money. We earn a lot because we invited uh, the leaders, but all the delegations are paying their uh, uh, invoice of staying in our hotels. We have full, our hotels are fully booked. Take another dimension which we do not see carefully, that uh, if we want to go to the United States or Canada or Russia and to make a sort of propaganda in their mass media and newspapers, we shall pay a lot. Now, without paying anything, all the cameras in Sharm el-Sheikh are following uh, our activity. And, of course, it is a good uh, propaganda and good uh, presentation of Egypt all over the world. So, and if we come to the specific agenda of this conference, which is the environment, Egypt is, is really the, the right place in order to make uh, the uh, role of the arbitrator among uh, the whole world in order to make our environment much better. Even when yes. the president, uh, Fattah al-Sisi, mentioned that it's high time 
to stop the war in Ukraine, the whole audience started to clap and to uh, support his initiative. This means that we are uh, in, in a position to help the world in environment, in its security, in its relations, in its economic relations, and even cultural relations. Yes, it sir. is a big story of success, what is happening in Sharm el -Sheikh. Yes, uh, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi also um, uh, addressing uh, the uh, UN climate uh, uh, conference uh, yesterday. Uh, U.S. President Joe Biden said that the uh, U.S., uh, the EU, and Germany pledged 500 million uh, U.S. dollars uh, to finance Egypt's transition to clean uh, energy. So what does this show of uh, the size of Egypt and the size of cooperation between Egypt and these uh, parties? It is another sign of support. Yes. They like what we are doing. And uh, always the EU is t telling us that we are doing fine for everything, for the environment, for the illegal migration, for the money laundering, for the uh, organized crime by all its means. So we, we have the EU as our main trade partner. The United States is not far from this. And I want to tell our Egyptian audience that not to be shy that those countries are helping Egypt. Because I always tease their ambassadors in, 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 in Cairo saying, but still the flow of money from Egypt to the United States or to Europe is much more than the money coming to us. How? Because we are paying uh, the invoice of our uh, imports, and from Europe it, exactly, we are importing 100 times the volume of their assistance to Egypt. Yes. With the uh, United States, it is more than 60 times the volume of their assistance we are buying from them. So it is not a, a sort of assistance or charity, it is a trade promotion and to uh, make sure that Egypt is a, a, a good life partner because if you, the, the, the message we are giving to our partners that if you invest in Egypt, then you are selling your merchandise exempted from any custom duties or any trade barriers to the Arab world because we have free trade area, to the uh, African Union, we have another free trade area, and to Europe also we have our largest free trade area. Yes. So my message to the investor from wh wh wherever he is coming, that if you invest in Egypt, you are going to uh, sell your merchandise in a market of 2,000 million inhabitants. This is uh, a good sign to show how important is our market, how important is our partnership. Yes, uh, so Your Excellency Ambassador uh, Bayoumi, uh, during the meeting between President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi and the U.S. President Joe Biden, both leaders were keen uh, to express uh, their keenness on boosting bilateral relations, but also, uh, at the same time, I mean, both leaders were keen to show uh, the depth uh, of uh, the uh, and the strength uh, of the relations between Egypt and U.S., uh, which shows uh, the historical good affairs uh, between the two uh, countries. What would you say about this point? Uh, there is what we call the strategic dialogue uh, among the two countries on the level of the foreign ministers, and yes. it's going quite successfully. And uh, uh, another sign of uh, big success for our foreign policy, what happened uh, last month in, in Jeddah, where uh, and when nine leaders of the Arab world met with, the, with President Biden, and they announced before his arrival that we are not with his idea of establishing an Arab NATO against Iran. The Egyptian foreign ministry said this is not our priority. Iran is not the enemy. So we made the president of the United States change his offer in order to talk to uh, our uh, neighbors, telling them that the two-state solution is a good solution for everybody in the Palestine question, which is on top of our agenda for political dialogue. 
So uh, this practice of establishing a continuous dialogue is a successful one. And thank God that uh, uh, we have an American president who seems to be a very good listener. And he exchanged with us these sort of uh, advices. And I, I am quite sure that this way of dealing with the matters will make our relation with the uh, United States and Europe much wider and much deeper. Yes. Uh, so, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, uh, how do you see more importance uh, of uh, the U.S. President Joe Biden's keenness uh, to attend uh, the summit and take uh, part uh, in the summit and deliver his speech before uh, uh, the summit uh, as he... Uh, also, while addressing the summit, have said that the global climate uh, crisis uh, posed a threat to the planet, promising uh, that the United States would do its part and all what it can to combat it. This is good news also, and uh, uh, in his place, the President of the United States, I wouldn't miss to talk to the whole world from one place, from one city, which is Sharm el-Sheikh. And this is not strange, because uh, we have, uh, before that, when President Obama wanted to talk to the whole Islamic countries, w w 1, 004 million inhab inhabitants, uh, uh, he, he came to Cairo from Cairo University, and he, he talked to the whole Islamic uh, countries. When Europe wanted to make a good meeting with the whole African world, we have seen in, in our uh, Cairo conference room, 68 presidents came to Egypt to discuss the relation between uh, EU and uh, the African countries. Yes. And uh, it is always like that. Cairo, Sharm el-Sheikh, Alexandria became cities where if you want to talk to the whole world. So it's not a uh, strange thing that uh, the president of the United States came to talk to the whole world here. And as of the technical uh, point of the agenda, which is environment, we wanted uh, United States and China and the big industrialized countries to commit themselves to help the environment because they are the, 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 the largest industries which is doing bad to our environment. Yes. So what they are paying, as a matter of fact, is a sort to uh, compensate what they are doing badly to our environment in the whole world. I, I look at it like that, and with all uh, friendly attitude, we encourage them to continue helping Egypt and helping Africa in order to see the results of what their industries are doing. Yes, so Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, while uh, during his uh, meeting with the President of the Fatah Sisi, U.S. President Joe Biden um, uh, said, uh, praised Egypt's efforts in Gaza as well as its uh, stance on the Ukrainian crisis. What's your comment on this? Here, uh, uh, sort of a very big effort of the Egyptian diplomacy. It's well known that we have very good relations with all parties in the Palestinian question, whether it is uh, the PLO or Hamas, or even the leaders of Israel, they know that we are a good advisor and they, they listen to us. And uh, we, we gave a very good example how we can affect this situation when by uh, immediate contacts between the Egyptian leadership and the leadership in, in Gaza and in uh, Tel Aviv, we stop the war. Any witness to this would uh, uh, say what the uh, American president said to thank Egypt that it has the capacity and it has the, the possibility to help uh, establishing peace in the area. I hope we shall continue this. We, we have two problems here, that there is a division of opinion in Israel. You don't have one single party who can win the election. Same thing, the division between Hamas and the PLO is another weakness to solve this problem. So Egypt is in the middle of all this in order to uh, bring to the uh, stage of the situation a sort of solution which would fit to all the parties and then I hope that we shall reach another 
uh, peace agreement between all the parties in the Palestinian territory. Yes, Your Excellency Ambassador Bayoumi, uh, what is the importance of the sideline talks in such uh, a conference? We uh, can see until uh, now that President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on daily basis, uh, we uh, see uh, that he is uh, uh, holding uh, uh, side talks uh, uh, on the sideline of the uh, conference with several officials and world leaders, uh, not only with the U.S. Uh, president, but with with other uh, presidents and other uh, ministers. Uh, what is the importance of the sideline talks, if, uh, even if it's uh, uh, not uh, um, uh, uh, seen on the camera, uh, away from the eyes of the cameras? What, uh, what would be the outcome of the sidelines in which each uh, leader uh, uh, speak uh, in a friendly way with the other uh, leader uh, about uh, supporting his people and supporting the other parts and the countries around the world uh, uh, on the diplomatic level and also the financial level? This is one part of uh, uh, our diplomacy because recently since uh, the revolution of June, uh, we, we restore the, the, the most effective, effective uh, weapon of our diplomacy. Our diplomacy is based on the relation between ambassadors, ministers, but we were uh, lacking the presidential diplomacy. Now we have our president traveling from Tokyo in the far east till Paris, in the far west from New York uh, till uh, South Africa. And uh, one good result of these meetings that you can make plenty of meetings in a few days. Yes. I remember when... Uh, President Sisi uh, visited New York for the United Nations General Assembly meeting. He made 50 meetings in four days. You cannot do that if you stay in Cairo. Uh, it, it takes one year at least. But in a few days, you make all these contacts. And this is one good uh, result of the uh, uh, COP27 that we are, you, we, you are still in your own country. And as you rightly said, uh, President Sisi is meeting plenty of leaders every day, every hour. And uh, also we have witnessed the meetings between uh, the Minister of Foreign Affairs and his counterparts everywhere, the uh, head of the yes. uh, United States Parliament, uh, Belusi. Yes. It's strange that she came and to assist this meeting and this conference. So it, it shows you, if you see the presentation of the yes. United States, it shows that they are very keen to be here and to present their country in a very uh, wide way. Yes, the I thank you very much the for your... Of the Parliament and yes. the, the, the Foreign Minister. Yes, I thank you very much for your time and for your valuable information. Ambassador Gamal Bayoumi, former Assistant Foreign Minister, thank you very much for joining us over the phone. Ladies and gentlemen, a short break and I'm going to be back with you.